Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yandan with Evening News. The headlines. Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh appeals youth to identify new ways to take the nation to greater heights. Deputy Commissioner and DEO Kohima, Shanava C. says free and fair elections happen only when eligible voters come forward on their own will. Directorate of School Education Nagaland informs online registration for JNV selection test. And President, Vice President and Prime Minister extends greetings on Statehood Day of Manipur, Mekhalaya and Tripura. Now the news in detail. Union Defence Minister Rachna Singh has appealed to the youth to identify new ways to take the nation to greater heights. Addressing the gadgets at the National Gadget Course NCC Republic Day Camp in New Delhi, Singh said the bath of the country's progress goes through the youth. He urged them to stay connected with the country's age-old values and traditions and work in the field of their choice with humility. Singh said no stone is being left unturned by the government to equip the nation to deal with challenges that may arise due to the fast-evolving global security scenario. He said the armed forces are protecting the nation from all kinds of threats and scientists, engineers, civil officers and others are providing all required support to them. The minister expressed confidence that the NCC gadgets, with their hard work, dedication and values, will touch heights of success and bring laurels to the country. Deputy Commissioner and District Election Officer of Kohima, Shanava C. said that free and fair election happen only when eligible voters of a country or a state come forward on their own will, based on their conscience, without any external influences. He was speaking at a one-day media workshop, Bar Dalap, organized by the Press Information Bureau, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Kohima, under the theme SVEP and Ethics of Election Reporting at Kohima today. Emphasizing on clean elections, Shanava said, it is the collective responsibility of the people, the government and the politician to see that election is conducted in a clean and democratic manner. Shanavas said the media can play an important role as the fourth pillar of democracy by giving constructive criticisms and ethical reporting. He called on the media to create positive effect by highlighting positive stories such as the two villages in Kohima, Tizama and Gerupema Pasa, who declared that there will be no money-related election activities in their areas like organizing party camps and distributing gifts. Also addressing the workshop, Chief Electoral Officer of Nagaland, V. Shashank Shekhar, said the fundamental role of the media is to be a medium through which the government can reach out to the common people and other stakeholders about its priorities and concerns. The CEO called on the media to play a constructive and positive role during this election by avoiding misinformation and checking rumours with facts which will have an impact on the community. During the technical session, Joint Director Information and Public Relation Asang Lai Im Song shared on the topic checking misinformation, especially in social media during elections. Directorate of School Education Nagalin has informed all DEOs, senior STEOs and STEOs to use various platforms to give wide publicity about online registration for appearing in the Jawaha. Navadia Vidalaya's JNV selection test. Admissions in JNVs for Class 6 is made through JNVs selection test. The online registration for Class 6 selection test is being done through the link at navadia.gov.in given at the NVS website. The last date for submission of the application is 31st of this month. President Robert Murmu has extended greetings on the state of day of Manipur, Mekhalaya and Tripura. In a message, President Murmu said that a rich culture, natural beauty and abiding traditions of these states enrich the nation's diversity. On the occasion, Vice President Jagdeep Tanka also loaded the people of these states for their remarkable contributions to national development and wished for their prosperous future. Extending greetings, Prime Minister Nenana Modi said, Tripura has witnessed a great growth trajectory in the last five years. 
Modi said Mekhali is known for its vibrant culture, particularly music, art and passion towards sports and its people have excelled in diverse fields. He also prayed for aspirations of the people of Manipur to be fulfilled and for the state to keep strengthening India's growth trajectory. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Nipirio, taking the Twitter, has extended statehood day greetings to the three states and wished its citizens peace and prosperity. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News, Kohima. Union Minister of State for Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, Dr. Jidendra Singh, said that science, technology and innovation will become the basis of the country's economy in the coming times. Dr. Singh was addressing the inauguration ceremony of the 8th India International Science Festival in Popal today. The four-day science festival has been organized at Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology, Popal. Over 8,000 scientists, teachers, researchers and students are participating in the festival. Consequent upon the announcement of a schedule for the general election in the state, Deputy Commissioner and District Election Officer Mukukchung Shashang Pratap Singh has directed all heads of offices and all government employees under the district to be in station with immediate effect. All heads of offices are directed to ensure their presence and also their subordinate officers and staff in their respective place of posting. Permission for station leave on official duty should be obtained from the DC or DEO with clear and specific details. Further, disciplinary action will be initiated against any errand officials as per the provision of the law. In another notification, the DC has informed all the pang managers, branch managers, under Mukuchung district to consider a single window with dedicated staff so as to facilitate prospective candidates for opening of separate bank account on priority basis. Deputy Commissioner and District Election Officer Mukukchung Shashang Pradap Singh has constituted a committee in the district in order to ensure observation of model code of conduct and smooth conduct of general election. The district level standing committee comprises of DC as the chairman, superintendent of police, ESC Umbangong, DPRO, President, Secretary or Representative of all political parties and assistant election officer as members. Political party representatives and media persons from Zanubara district attended a meeting today at the DC's chamber to deliberate on legal provisions and instructions of the Election Commission related to election expenditure and its monitoring. During the meeting, the failure to comply with the instructions were also discussed. Meanwhile, in Mukukchung, the second round of meeting come training on election expenditure was held yesterday. During the training session, Election Expenditure Monitoring Module for AEO, Accounting Team, MCMC, Flying Scott Team, Static Surveillance Team, Video Surveillance Team and Video Viewing Team were discussed. In Zeminio, training for Expenditure Monitoring Cell was conducted at the DC's chamber yesterday, while in Bukopudo, the meeting was held in the office of the additional Deputy Commissioner and District Election Officer Bukopudo with the returning officer, 13 the Bukopudo Assembly constituency, all political parties under the subdivision and all notable officers of Election Expenditure Monitoring Committee of the subdivision. Deputy Commissioner and District Magistrate Kohima Shanavasi has prohibited any person from carrying arms in their possession within the district of Kohima with immediate effect. In Tensang and Peren, all licensed arms holders, unless exempted under the law, are directed to deposit their weapons at the nearest police station. Meanwhile, Deputy Commissioner and District Election Officer Nokluck K. Matang Tsanglao has directed all arms license holders under the district to deposit their arms license along with their weapons at the nearest police station as per the address given in the license on or before 31st of this month. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh appeals youth to identify new ways to take the nation to greater heights. Deputy Commissioner and D.O. Kohima Shranavasi says free and fair election happen only when eligible voters come forward on their own will. 
Directorate of School Education, Nagaland, informs online registration for JNV selection test. And President, Vice President and the Prime Minister extends greetings on State of Day of Manipur, Mekhalaya and Tripura. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.